Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of Banish with me, Bifter, and we're here in New Bifton and we're just taking a look at this tiny little teeny sheep. He's very still, isn't he? Probably because I'm on pause, but there we go. <laughs> and he is, he is still in here because my pasture, let's start the game up, was not made to the right size, which was a bit annoying. Could have done with another one in there, but these things seem to be able to breed even when there's only one of them, so I don't think three will be any problem. So this episode we're going to try and expand a little bit. This guy travels all the way up here to sleep. I think he'll work better if he lives nearby. So we're going to unpause the completion of his house there. And next on the list as well is a schoolhouse, because as a lot of you quite correctly pointed out... Um, a lot of my educated people would have died off a long time ago and those that are being born um, are being uneducated. So even though I had my jobs maxed out, I did lose out a lot on food and that sort of thing. So we're going to work on that. I also put a well to be built around here somewhere. Why can't I see there it is? Is that the well there? I think it is. Yes, there we go. We have a well that's going to be built. So that is going to be taking a bit of our stone, only a little bit of wood. Okay, we've got enough wood for there. We're a bit short. Oh, we have the logs for the schoolhouse. Okay, that's good. So we have that well there, and then we also placed one here, I believe. Can I not click on that well? There we go. We have this well as well, as well, as well. Just to try and cover these areas to make sure that we have enough fire protection. And what's this guy saying here? He doesn't have materials to make the coats. He's made 13 wool coats. Okay, fair enough. What do they want the limit at? 50. So he's going to keep working as he can. If not, he will work as a labourer. And I could really do with some more builders to help with these things. But we're going to wait until the schoolhouse and the wells are complete, I think, before we dive into making anything else. Um... Wood and stone isn't doing the best. That's a cut and plant. What are they doing? Well, they didn't have a previous season because it was burnt down and it seems to forget the figures once it's been burnt down and started again. What do we have here? Not much the previous season. Okay, this season. And the herbalist is... Has that got nobody working at the herbalist? Well, that's fine. We'll keep that as it is for now. I don't want to overdo that. We could do with some more iron, but we're really concentrating. Oh, a new child, Monsera, was born. Welcome to the world, Monsera, to the town of New Bifton. You will love it here, I'm sure. So these guys are still collecting wood and whatnot from over here. Is that, oh, that was a person right the other side. And eventually we could expand across the river, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. What is this little chap doing here? Seven-year-old is playing. Yo, Sella. You are playing in an empty field. Oh, look at these mushrooms that need to be picked. Interesting. And lots of people visiting the grave, which is full to the brim. How dare those deer wander through the <laughs> cemetery. We really could do with another cemetery, but they do take a heck of a lot of stone. So apparently firewood is low. Why is my firewood low? I do have a woodcutter. There we go, working away. Just the one for now. Oh, this wooden house is complete. And the herdsman has moved in. Well, that's interesting. So where's he? I would have thought that he would have got a job. Now apparently, now I, I thought people would swap houses. That's what I was led to believe. So, let's start up this schoolhouse. So, if the guy working on the pasture here... Let's have a look who that is. Where is he? There he is. So, we have Dicky here working at the pasture. I would have thought that he would move house nearest to the one where he lives. But apparently he doesn't. So, let's see where he lives. He has. He's moved right next door. Dickie the Herdsman. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. That's who we were looking at, first of all. When he said Herdsman, I was thinking of Hunter. Got me a tiny bit confused there. Okay. So why is the firewood so low? I need to really collect 
some more things. Let's do a bit of collecting down the bottom here. Clean this area out. We will get whatever stone and wood is in that area. That will help us build up our stock and it will also help us get this area cleaned out from when we eventually get seeds, although that is something that I've really put on hold at the moment. Just trying to balance things back out again here. So let's have a look. Our workers are probably heading on down. Let's have a look. No, they've got enough stuff to build. 16, they need iron. Ah, interesting. Okay, we don't have any iron. Is there iron in this collection? In this area I've just marked for collection. Let's see, we can do this. There is some. Okay, so hopefully... Possibly not gone far enough. Well, what I'm going to do... Cancel any removal tasks in there, and I'm just going to collect the iron for now. So we can finish off the schoolhouse. Now, I know that's going to lose me some labourers at first, but... Let's have a look. Hide coats. 15 each. Do we need any hide coats? What have we got? We have 12 clothes. No, that's fine. We are not going to trade with you. Is there anything we could do with? What are we short on? We could short on wood. Firewood. Now, I know people that just trade, <laughs> that don't do anything apart from trade for the stuff they need. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I'm going to let that guy go on his way. Thank you for stopping stopping by. We have nobody working on the trading post at the moment. I'm keeping everything I need where I need it. Um, so let's add in a few more houses again. So we've got the schoolhouse being made. How are these looking? Oh, Caroline and Prince Cesar has become an adult working as a labourer. Excellent. Oh, we are slowly working our way up again. 3,000 food. I think I'm going to get myself another woodcutter. Yeah, what I was going to mention before, once the school is built, I mean, at the minute I'm not really bothering the labourers because I know the guys that can't build will go off and collect what they need to build. So they're going to work away. Let's have a look at this chappy here. Is this Dickie or is this somebody else? It is Dickie, okay. Hopefully somebody is coming down here to collect this iron, although they don't seem to be. Ah, there we go. Who's this? It's Dicky again! Well, he's doing some collecting work instead of working at his job. What are they doing? Picking up resources. Ah, oh, I bet I know what's happening. They're still collecting. Let's see where we go. Is he going to walk all the way around here and down this way? Where is he heading to? The axe over is heading to that random tree. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah. This area here, that's fine. Well, I'll let them grab those last couple of trees and hopefully they'll pick up these logs. They will. I guess this guy, I'll tell you what we're going to do is cancel the removal of that one tree. Let the guys pick up these things here. And then hopefully the next thing on the list will be the iron. And what I'm going to do to help them think that iron is what we really want. Let's make sure I don't... There we go. Ah, and somebody's already heading over here to get the iron already. Let's see. Who's this? Who's this chap? Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. You have one iron. Well, don't overwork yourself. <laughs> Brilliant. So we can get this school hut. Yes, what was I saying? If you have a school hut, always make sure you have one labourer because if your school teacher dies and there are people in your school and there's no labourer to replace the schoolmaster or schoolmistress, then all the children in the school will be kicked out, even if they're almost completing their education and they will be uneducated workers. So that is something you don't want to have. Firewood is at 200. Brilliant, that's good. So they're going to be working as labourers as well. That is excellent. So it really is the iron and the happiness of my people is something that I really need to start thinking about very soon. I'm wondering whether to expand this graveyard because that is something that can make people very unhappy. Cemetery. 
one stone per unit, so I could I could squeeze another one in here. Right next to this one. I'm gonna put the entrance put the entrance there like that. I think that will do. Because people are unhappy, they cannot visit their elders who have sadly passed away in the Great Famine of Year 12 stroke 13. So that's not very good, is it? And what's going on here? Nobody working at the fishing dock. Well, I know that. Because I have all you fishers. Where's all my fishermen? My, all, all of my one fishermen <laughs> working over here. So he's collecting okay. Oh, look. You can see the deer swimming across the lake. That's something you guys mentioned you spotted in my last video. They go for a little swim, which is very nice, very realistic as well. Is that my fisherman here? Who's this? Yes, my fisherman who is extremely unhappy. Wow, why are you so unhappy? And where do you go to work, uh, to live? Okay, not too far away. That's fine by me. Hmm. Lock limit 400. I could really do with getting more logs and stone. I'm going to select some of these stone and iron. Allow me to click that button. Thank you. Which isn't too far away. So I'm going to leave the quarry unmanned at the moment. So let's check our houses. How are people doing? Do we have any houses that are... We have houses that have one person in. I wonder whether it's just to rebuild... Rebuild these ones over here. That well is complete. Excellent. We have that area covered there. Almost have enough iron. Let's check. Let's see, I'm going to bump up... I don't know, I think I'll just... Um, bomb, 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 bomb. So we have 203... I do want to get another couple of hundred of these back into my... Whoops, let's bump that up to 400. Oh, another child. Ray Monte. Either a very Spanish male lad or a female. Um, so some of my houses here do have one person in, but they don't seem to be shacking up with each other. <laughs> Okay, maybe we will add a couple more houses down here again. Start this expansion. Carmany was born. Excellent. Children are on the rise. That is what we want to see. Yeah, well, let's rebuild. Let's see. Let's rebuild these two. It's not burnt down as much, which is good. What are the other houses? That are unoccupied. What do we have up here? Where do these guys travel to? Let's see. Hunting cabin. Nearby. Nobody working there, so that's fine. That's only got a 67 year old hunter. Oh, another labourer. Madarathi. Sounds like something out of Game of Thrones. Um, so, food is really nicely rising. I think we could afford to place. Afford to place a couple more houses. Let's see if we can fit a house. I'm not going to go mad this time. Let's see if we can fit a house next to the schoolhouse here. There we go, that's the button I'm looking for. That looks like a nice, big, impressive house. And then we have... So eventually we're going to need a couple of houses down here. Maybe I could fit one more in that little spot. That would be very nice. Let's pick a nice looking type of house. Let's have two of those next to each other. That would be good. And they take logs and stone. We're doing okay. It's building up. Laver was born. Or Laver. Not quite sure what that is. 15 of 16. We're almost there. 16 of 16 on the schoolhouse. Excellent is what we want. I'm going to change that to that. We will be needing a teacher momentarily. Oh, my foresters are low. That's why. 
course. We're so low on everything, aren't we? I really need to beef up the population again. Start filling these slots again. Here we go. They are working hard on this schoolhouse. It's nearing completion. 85%, only 15% left. Oh, this is going to be great. We're going to suddenly lose seven labourers <laughs> to be educated, but it will be good in the long run. That is something we've needed for a long time. Brilliant. There we go. So let's lose that labourer. Let's lose actually one builder, and we will gain a teacher. There we go. And you'll be able to see how many students attend this school. I don't know whether they attend as soon as the teacher arrives, which was just then. There we go. Our teacher is Zellery, the 19-year-old who is very unhappy. <laughs> oh dear. Please don't instill your unhappiness in all the children. I want them to be happy and to be well-trained and taught in the ways of New Bifton. That is what we need. So we will see how that works out for our population. Hopefully not too bad. All oh, these houses are nearing completion as well, which is good. We're going to start getting some population growth, which is what we need. I wish there was a way to extend a pasture, just to ch change the size once it had been built. I'm not sure if I destroy that, whether I will lose the sheep if I just make a bigger one. I don't know, and I don't want to mess around. Those sheep were expensive, and we are getting we are getting wool and stuff from them. Mutton, there we go. So why is there venison all the way down here? When my hunters and gatherers are a long way away, and I don't even have anybody working in that hunting cabin, so... Very strange, I don't know. Okay, so anybody? still nobody at the school. Fair enough. Um, I need to get some more stone collected. There seems to be a lot of... Is this just standard stone? That is iron, isn't it? Let's grab that iron there. Let's just see if there's any stone at all within this area here. Nothing there. Okay. There's some stone. We will grab that. Oh, I'm still doing iron. Okay, let's change that to stone. There we go, there's stone. We shall take that. Let's try this again. Any stone in this area? No, okay. So actually, I'm thinking I'm just going to bump up. There we go, the collecting of the stone. Oh, a child named Olive was born. That is good. Ah, there we go. This house is now complete. And let's see whether... And Rona as well. Excellent. Brilliant. People start seeing the excess food and the houses available. And they start populating like mad, we could say. You turn off the TV and get busy. Oh, she only lives nearby anyway, so that's good. I'm not sure why there's no students going there. Seems a bit strange to me. One day has become a student. Aha! Is it when they grow up from... Oh, I see. When they leave being a child. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. They don't go straight to being a labourer. They go straight to being a student. Well, that makes perfect sense. There we go. A couple of houses there. We really need to try and... Beef our foresters up. Because our wood supply is rather low. So we'll have one builder and one worker beavering away. What is our worker working on? Is it these wells? That well is complete. Ah, it was rebuilding houses, wasn't it? So how are these doing? That must be what they're working on next, I would imagine. There's supplies there. Okay, but well that's fine. We'll let them keep working away at that. And look, our firewood has gone down because of those two houses. So I'm glad I've upped the limit on that. Just hope my Forester's Lodges can start doing a bit better. I think I really need to try and place a Forester's Lodge. A Forester's Lodge somewhere that doesn't have anything else in its area. That's got a hill there, so it can't plant. Just somewhere where I can just have a Forester's Lodge. There's no other buildings, because it's struggling 
I mean, this area over here could be good. There's a river running through it, but... Hmm. Something to think about, because here, I mean, this is all well and good, but in the areas of these things, there's a lot of buildings and other stuff taking up space. That really is dropping down. So 114, not many. 52, I mean, that's... I don't know why that's... That's got three or four workers working there. How many are working over here? Two of four. That's actually done better. I'm just wondering whether... Let's just do a bit of jiggery pokery here. Can I drop that down there? And drop it up here. There we go. Three of four. One of three. Forester six of ten. Where's my other Forester's Lodge? And what's that one been getting? <coughs> 66, 246. Yeah, maybe we'll drop that one down. Can I not up that one? There we go. I think I'll maximise this one as that's collecting more logs with less people. So that's obviously more productive. I have to excuse me, keep stopping and starting the video. Had a bit of a sore throat today. And, uh,. Yeah, I keep needing to stop. So nobody's taking up moving into those houses at the moment. Um, not sure why. Okay, the cemetery's starting to be worked on. We need to get some more firewood over here. Let's change that to 650. And we need to get ourselves... Let's have a look. We'll just take a gatherer away. And add a trader to the trading post to get moving that over because somebody will be bringing seeds one day and I want to be prepared for them. Let's just check along the river. Anybody coming? Nobody coming this way. This map is absolutely huge. It really is big. Okay. Well, hopefully that cemetery won't take too long because I want to make sure if anybody else dies, hopefully only of old age, that it isn't going to add to the unhappiness of my people. And we have a new child as well, Chiron, and Talons has become a student, which is brilliant. We have going on, blacksmith is maximum tools. Okay, he's using logs and iron. I'm going to double his tools. So we can start maybe getting some of those over into the trading area. Logs, 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 logs. These guys are still collecting stuff and things down there. I think it's just stone. I think it's logs as well, and stone. And they seem to be leaving them. Why are they leaving them? There is a lovely stockpile just there. Hello, guy. What are you doing? You're working. And you're a tailor. Oh, I see. Maybe you were finishing off doing that. Ah, oh, look, somebody's picked it up. Okay, that's good. Lauren Wrench was born. Expanding. Good expansion. That is what we want. So as our... Oh, another student. Monsieur has become a student. Wow, this is working out brilliantly. So as these grow up... Glenny, a new child. Hooray. As these grow up, these three here are going to be better adults and better labourers than the current ones we have. They're all pretty slow <laughs> in more ways than one because they were uneducated. <laughs> That's a mean thing to say, Biffy. You can't say that. Um, so, oh, look. My firewood has dropped right down. These guys better get working. Before anybody moves into another house and grabs it all, that won't be good. I'll leave that hunting cabin for now. There's some stuff over here. Look, somebody needs to come and pick up. Looks like lumps of stone. Hmm... start getting some good supplies up. Well, I'm glad we've managed to get a schoolhouse done. Oh, a trader. Is this the one? Is this the one? Chestnuts and mushrooms. Hmm. So he's not selling the seeds. He's literally just selling chestnuts or mushrooms. 
what can we order from him for the next time? I just don't want to order straight food. So, guy, you are dismissed. Thank you for coming. Tell your buddies, bring the seeds. We want the seeds. A new child, Pliasa. Pli Pliasa. That'll be his Pliasa, but as he grows up and he wants to sound cool, he'll change his name to be pronounced Pliasa. People will look up to him with a name like that. He'll be one of the new breed of educated students here in New Bifton. Can we peek in the windows of the schoolhouse? Oh, who's this? Leaving school early, Talons is cold and finding somewhere warm. You're meant to be at school. <laughs> Surely the school has a heater. Maybe school's over. They all seem to be coming in and out. Now what did he just do? Gathering fuel. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Firewood is low again. Yeah, that's fine. That's to be expected. I mean, know about that. Okay, collecting more wood over there. That's fine. Hmm. I really think we should collect some of these trees around here as well, because... Let's have a look. Let's just... Oh, oh, oh. Let's click on there. Let's just collect a load of those trees, because we're really getting low on trees, and I'm going to give that the priority that. So let's go there and then there. The cemetery has been built! Hooray! We are now covered at both ends of the spectrum. We could educate your children and then we can bury your oldsters as well. Cool! Nothing like looking after the entire population of New Bifton. But over here these houses are being rebuilt and because I don't have much firewood, I'm thinking I'm going to try and sort of pause them when they're almost complete. And wait until we have a bigger stock of firewood. Otherwise, these guys are going to move in, not have any firewood. Maybe someone's going to try and move in there, set up a family, and it could cause a problem straight away. What are we up to? 20, 34 people, which is brilliant. So, we still have the logs. Where are my firewood workers? Get chopping. There we go. Chop away. We need that firewood. I think some people have possibly moved out to other houses. There we go. Look, there's lots of firewood. What was that? Logs she was picking up? Firewood. So lots of firewood to drop off. I think people have been moving out to houses and taking the firewood with them. Are they dropping it straight there? They are, look. Oh, there we go. It's building back up again. It's just our logs are still low. So hopefully... There we go. My one labourer and my one builder are going to start working hard. <laughs> taking away all these trees, which is just what I need. Excellent. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on these two houses. Get them paused before it ends. So we've done well this episode. We're now educating and we're now set for burying as well which is excellent and the population is going up food is looking good we are starting to fill up the jobs again so hopefully we can reach a stable population once more and start expanding beyond what we had before the fire and the famine of years 12 and 13. guys thank you very much for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed the episode and any comments below i read them all oh welcome to the world beverage nice to have you in new bifton uh, any comments you leave at all, I always read them and reply to, you, you probably know, so reply to pretty much all of my comments, as long as they're sensible comments, <laughs> which 99.9% .9 are. And any suggestions as well, I always take them on board. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.